The Tupelo Music Hall is an intimate venue that draws bigger artists like Melissa Etheridge, Lyle Lovett, and Toto. Its cool factor now bumped up even more, an array of 313 individual 60-cell panels, making it the first solar-powered venue of its kind in New England. But we always try to stay on the cutting edge of the music business and how we do things. A ribbon cutting made it official. Owner Scott Hayward says reducing the carbon footprint is a big reason for the investment. We all have kids and grandkids and we have generations coming after us and why leave the earth in worse shape? He says with loan payments now less than what he had been paying his electric utility each year, along with tax incentives, going solar also makes financial sense. A big part of the project, we took our tax money that we would be giving the government and just paid down the system. So net, it was the same amount of money for us. The Tupelo Music Hall's electric bill averages about $30,000 a year. And because of these panels, after seven years, it'll basically be free. These systems have a 25-year warranty, and they're built to produce for at least 40 to 50 years. So that means literally decades of free power just harvesting that sunlight on the roof. All the lights, the sound system, electric guitars, tour buses, and kitchen coolers that bring 160 shows and 40 events to life every year, now 100% powered by what's up on the roof. To see them leading this clean energy transition is just really exciting. In Derry, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.